is alive in you, you will feel him. But if he's not in you, you will also feel his absence. And one of the ways you know that Jesus is not in you is a feeling of emptiness. A feeling of emptiness. That feeling of emptiness is the feeling of death. A feeling of void. A feeling of vacancy. A feeling of lifelessness. A feeling of dryness. A feeling of deadness. Maybe you're here this morning. You're feeling empty. Feeling dry. Feeling God absent. I'd like to pray with you. You don't need to feel that way. Living in fear every moment of your life. Because you know your life is not secured in him. Not sure of the next moment. Not sure of the next day. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the future. Living in sin. I want to pray with you if you are like that this morning. You know that Jesus is not yet in your life. Can you raise up your hand? I want to pray with you. You want to surrender your life to him? Can you raise up your hand? And let me lead you to him this morning. Can you raise up your hand? If you want to surrender your life to Jesus. If you want to give your heart to him. Can you raise up your hand? He is calling you this morning. Don't play with this opportunity. Jesus. The savior. The resurrected one. Is calling you this morning. And if you want to surrender your life to him, this is the opportunity you have been waiting for. This is the chance you have been longing for. He said, if you are ashamed of me here on earth, I will be ashamed of you in heaven before my father. If you're here this morning and you want to surrender your life to him, can you raise up your hand very quickly? Don't let that devil stop you. Make up your mind this morning that you're going to go with Jesus. If you are not born again, you are going to die again. If your life is not hid in Christ Jesus, there is no hope of eternity for you. And I want you to meet with Jesus this morning. One more time for the last time. If you, must, if you want to give your life to Jesus, can you raise up your hand? Alright. If you were born again but you backslided, and you want to return to Jesus. Can you raise up your hand? Let's pray for you. You were born again. But you backslid it. Can you raise up your hand? If you're raising it. Can you raise it very well so that we know? Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. If you raised up your hand and you meant it. Can you come? Can you come? Can you come? Come. He's alive and he lives inside of me. He calls me and makes me his own. He makes a way where there seems to be no way. He's alive. And it lives inside of me. Woe is a lie. And it lives inside of me. He calls me. And makes me his own. Yeah. He makes a way. Where there seems to be no way, he is alive and he lives inside of me. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. 
He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. The tomb is empty. He's alive. Yeah. He's alive. Oh, he's alive. Is no longer where he lays. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, he's alive. Oh, the tomb is empty. Yeah, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, my King is alive. Oh, no. he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. He's the lifter of my head, yeah. He's alive. Oh, he's alive. Lifter of my soul is alive. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. King of kings, the Lord of lords is alive. He's alive. Oh, it's lifted me from the merry clay. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Can we stretch forth our hands towards them and pray for them? You that is around the altar today, I'd like you to pray that the quickening spirit of the resurrection will pass through you and help you to overcome weakness, overcome sickness, overcome death, overcome sin, overcome poverty, overcome every dying life, the mortal life. Say, Lord, I receive grace today to rise above the limitations and frustrations of the mortal life. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. Oh, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, behold your children. I plead the blood of Jesus on their behalf. And I command that the yoke of sin, the yoke of the devil, the yoke of death and hell over their lives break right now. Release them from the captivity of the enemy. Let their souls gain liberty. Free to love you. Free to serve you. Free to follow you all the days of their Zoe life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Give the Lord Jesus a clap offering. You may be seated. You may be seated. Bow your heads this morning and tell the Lord as I partake of the Holy Communion today, let a change that is visible, a change that is noticeable, a change that can be felt and seen, be obvious in my life. Go ahead and talk to God right now.